guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation. I am testing out 12 foundations over 12 days on my oily skin. I will link to all the previous days down below if you have missed any. Today we're talking about something that is underrated times two, if you ask me. First of all, I don't think enough people talk about powder foundations, myself included, so this is me turning that around. I don't know if it's like, are they not as sexy as liquid foundations? For whatever reason, people don't seem to talk about them as much. And secondly, Dermablend. Dermablend makes some absolutely beautiful, beautiful complexion products. I've reviewed their Smooth Liquid Camo Liquid Foundation, which is amazing. And today we are gonna be testing out their powder foundation, which is the Intense Powder Camo. So let's go ahead and get started. So this foundation is available at Ulta and at Shoppers Drug Mart, depending if you live in the United States or Canada. I'm not totally sure globally, but it retails for $33 at Ulta, $38 at Shoppers Drug Mart. And at Shoppers, it's listing as having 15 shades, and at Ulta, it lists as having 12 shades. And I think actually Dermablend is available at Sephora in the United States, but it's not in Canada. This foundation is said to be medium to full coverage, depending on how you apply it. It says you can actually use a sponge for full coverage, but I don't want to get into that today because I've never tried that before. So today is probably not the day to give that a try. And it says that it lasts all day on the skin. It's shine proof and it's supposed to be really um, kind of gentle on the skin as well. If you have any skin issues, Dermablend is a great brand to reach for because they it's formulated by doctors, I think, or it was, or something like that. I could be lying, but either way, I know a lot of people reach for this brand who do have skin issues, and I feel like that's one of the reasons why people don't talk about it as much, because it's not as cutesy, but I really feel like they do make good, really good quality products. You're getting 13.5 grams of product in here, which seems to be quite a bit. I think it's around the same as MAC Studio Fix. I'm not totally sure, but I just grabbed it a few of my other powder foundations that I have, and they were like 11, 7, 9. So this seems to be a good amount of product in here. If you are new to a powder foundation, my absolute favorite method for application are these two brushes. The Real Techniques Buffing Brush does a beautiful job of buffing it into your skin, and the e.l.f. Powder Brush is a little bit more dense, and you can get a little bit more coverage out of it. I'm going to apply and set the concealer under my eyes and then go in with the powder foundation, so a little bit different than how we normally do things. I am still going to prime this half of my face, and I think I'm going to go with the e.l.f. brush today. So I've gone ahead and concealed my under eyes. I actually use the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer. Now I'm just basically gonna buff it into my skin. It's a really fast method for applying foundation, I find. I, I tend to use powder foundations on days where I just wanna like run out of the house. I wore MAC Studio Fix for like probably a full year as a, just a powder foundation. I'm wearing the shade Coco today in this foundation and I will have popular shades that I am in other foundations listed down below as always. This may be a hair dark on me, but what's new? <laughs> but you can just see it just even things out really, really quickly, and I'm just continually building it up. It's supposed to be smudge resistant, shine proof, transfer proof, and they recommend it for people who have moderate skin concerns, so things like rosacea, acne scarring, which I have. So let me show you it over here as well. Let me know what your favorite powder foundations are or if you use powder foundations. Also, if you want to spot conceal under powder foundations, I find the best route is to conceal the spot and then put like a translucent powder over it because some powder foundations can kind of catch if you have that liquid and then you try and buff a, a powder over it. So that's the best method that I've found. This is a little bit red for me. I have actually used this a bunch to set my face, but I've never used it as just a true straight up powder foundation, I don't think. So with the exception of the shade being a little bit off, things look really, really good on my skin. They feel so lightweight. It was such a quick application. Basically, you saw me apply all of it, and normally I'll kind of cut out some of the foundation application because it can take a little bit longer with liquid. It looks really lightweight on the skin. It has quite a matte finish, but doesn't look or feel heavy or cakey. And I built it up to, I would say, about a medium coverage. You can't really see as much redness on my skin and it didn't catch on any dry patches or anything like that. I don't really have an issue with that, but it is a really, really smooth formula. I did add a little bit of concealer under my eyes again and on my chin and forehead just to kind of even and tone out some of the orangeness that's coming out of the foundation because I'm definitely not as golden as I was when I've worn this foundation in the past or sometimes I'll actually use this powder foundation to warm up the foundations that are too light for me because it adds a little bit of that warmth and coverage. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will check back with you to show you how it looks in photos. I have the rest of my makeup on now and I think things look really good. It's been a while since I've worn a powder foundation just as a powder foundation and I really love the way that it looks on the skin, especially because it just feels so lightweight. It feels like absolutely nothing. I had no problems blending anything onto it. It really, really acts and plays well with other makeup. But as for photos, I've gotta say I'm really, really impressed across the board. But you can see in the photo here in my studio lighting that I think it looks really beautiful. There's a sheen to the skin. It doesn't look flat and powdery. And then for the flash photos, I decided I kind of turn my head to the side so you can really see how the actual foundation performs as opposed to my concealer. And it looks really, really good. I don't really feel like there's any flashback. It looks super natural on the skin. And then once I turned all of my lights off, I think it looks really good as well. So a really, really beautiful performing foundation for photos for sure. So I'll check back with you guys in a few hours in some natural lighting. Okay, here I am in some natural light. It is a few hours later. I'm sorry if you can hear beeping and perhaps fire trucks in the background. There's a fire alarm going off in my building right now. I don't know how long this is all gonna take. It happens all the time though. It's no big deal. Someone has just burned their lunch, but as you can see, there is a little bit of oil on my face, but nothing super intense. And you can see that the color really is a decent match. I definitely could go a shade down, I think, but it feels really good on the skin. And the thing I like about powder foundations is they can start quite matte depending on the formula that you're using. But then as your oils start to come through, it just starts to look even more natural on the skin. I'm just gonna powder the center of my face. It still feels really good. The primed side is a little smoother than the unprimed side. Sorry if I'm kind of brushing through this, but I just don't want you to, hear to have to hear that fire alarm for like, as long as I do, because I know it's incredibly annoying. Rue always gets super panicky. <laughs> We're able to turn off the alarm like in our apartment, but you can still hear it in the um, in the hallways. Anyways, things look really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead to wear it for a few more hours and I will check back with you at the end of the day, as long as my building is not on fire. So here we are at the end of the day and I'm definitely looking a little bit shiny. So it is time to do some blotting as well. I have a little bit of patchiness over on this side of my face. I definitely spent a lot of time today editing and kind of touching my face which I really shouldn't have been doing but um, that happens for sure I don't feel like the foundation has oxidized or really patched away due to oiliness it was more so due to me touching my face so what I am gonna do is just use a little bit of mattifying powder down the center of my face but then what I figured we could try is just try to touch up this area with some powder and see how it performs with the actual like touching up with the actual uh, derma blend powder so I'm just gonna take this uh, real techniques buffing brush and kind of buff it over the area that's one thing I like about powder foundation is that it's a little bit easier to manipulate and if you want to go back in and kind of do a light layer over your face you do have that ability I wouldn't go like do it a several times in, in a day it would definitely get cakey but it is an option that you have so that definitely looks better but it did patch away on this side a bit so overall I definitely think that this is a good powder foundation for me personally I don't reach for powder foundations when I want something incredibly long wearing that's gonna last me like nine ten hours I reach for a powder foundation on a day where I want to wear makeup for like four or five hours something on like a Saturday when I just want to get out the door or just something when I really want to move quickly because they do blend so easily or at least this one and the one that ones that I like do so I definitely do like this I think that if you have a combination skin you would really like this as well let me know down below if you have more normal or dry skin and if you ever reach for a powder foundation I definitely think if you have a combination to oily skin you could definitely give this a try as you saw it's not going to keep you like completely matte all day and it isn't like the best foundation I've ever used for oily skin but I definitely do like it I I also really like it for setting foundation as well and adding a little bit more coverage. So I definitely recommend you have a powder foundation in your collection because they are so versatile. They're super easy. It's just a matter of finding the right one for you. So I definitely think it's a good one. It's just not the best I've ever tried. But that being said, I highly, highly recommend you check out Derma Blend because they do have so many great complexion products. All right, that is it for this review. I will see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.